Hi, my name is Katarina Sullivan and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is my second video in my series on how the Australian political system works. Last video, we covered some of the basics or the foundations of the political system. This week, we're going to sink our teeth into the juicier bits, more specifically, the federal legislature branch. I live in Canberra, which is the capital city of Australia. This is where you'll find Parliament House. Now, Parliament House is where politicians from all over Australia come to meet to discuss legislation at the federal legislature level of government. The current building where Parliament is held was opened in 1988. In Australia, we have a bicameral Parliament. Bicameral means two houses. So we have an upper house and a lower house. The upper house is also known as the Senate and the lower house is also known as the House of Representatives. In the Parliament building, there are two rooms which are called chambers. This is where the business of Parliament happens. The Senate chamber is red and the lower house chamber or House of Representatives chamber is green. This way, if you're ever watching TV and you see parliamentary proceedings on TV, you'll know which house you're watching based off the colour of the room. There are currently 227 people that make up our parliament, including the Queen. Next year, there will be 228. Before we discuss why this change in numbers, let's talk about the Senate. In the Senate, there are 76 members, 12 for each state, and two each for the Australian Capital Territory and the Northern Territory. Senator terms normally run for six years from the 1st of July to the 30th of June the following year. Leading up to the election next year, we're going to talk a little bit more about how senators get voted in as well as how members of the House of Representatives get voted in. So next year, during election year, you can make your vote count. In the lower house, there are currently 150 members. Next year, there will be 151. This is because the Australian Electoral Commission is continually reviewing and redistributing the boundaries of electorates. And you can think of electorates a little bit like suburbs, but usually a bit bigger. And these are areas of population which will then vote for a representative. The reason that we continually redistribute is based on the changes in population. The largest electorate in Australia is Durack in Western Australia. It spans over 1.5 million square kilometres of land. It is actually bigger than the majority of countries around the world. In fact, if Durack was its own nation, it would be the 18th largest country in the world. By comparison, Australia's smallest electorate is Graindler, with an area of 32 square kilometres. A representative from the lower house is also known as a member of parliament or an MP. The term of these MPs is a maximum of three years. However, the prime minister will usually call an election before the maximum term has been reached. I know you're all dying to find out how the Prime Minister is chosen and how we vote in a particular political party, but we will cover all of that next video, I promise. We're doing these videos in bite-sized chunks to make it really easy to digest and not to overwhelm you with a lot of political jargon. So feel free to leave a comment on this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you learned something new, please share it with your family and friends. Check out my website, check out my social media, give a follow and I will see all of you next time for our discussion about political parties.